Oh, hello there. My name is Ryan Kirkconnell, and today I'll be teaching you all about... The tuba. The tuba was first invented in 1835, but it was popularized by Stewie Griffin in the hit TV show Family Guy. In this instance, Stewie Griffin followed around fat people playing the following. While this use of the tuba is purely comical, it does lead us into an important facet of tuba playing, the oompa style. In the oompa style, the tuba will just play repeated downbeats of alternating pitches. This style can be found in three distinct genres of music, the polka, the march, and Dixieland. A polka might go something like this. This is very similar to a march, however, a march might sound a little plainer and go something like this. Dixieland, on the other hand, would be much more relaxed and free on the part of the player. The player might even be able to improvise some notes between the different chord changes, and would sound something like this. And this leads us to the end of the oompa style of playing. However, tubas are also found in other different groups, like an orchestra, which would not be playing a march or a polka. An orchestra would be playing a very distinctly different style of music, and oftentimes the tuba will be playing a long, long sustained note in order to give a good foundation for the rest of the musical ensemble. However, occasionally a composer will decide to give the tuba a melodic line, in which case the tuba might sound something like this. While this use of the tuba is fairly rare, it is not unheard of. However, in even more recent times, the tuba has been used as a sort of beatbox machine, while players basically just make random noises into the mouthpiece, using their tongue and occasionally their voice. However, in a more musical application of this style, the player might play and sing a note at the same time, which would sound like this. And this style of tuba playing can be used to create a more groove-like feel than many other styles.
Thank <laughs> you.